Yo, it's Rod here, Futures 8 Bit. Five random games time again. Uh, this time on an Amstrad CPC 464 thing. Um, using a tape interface, so this will take absolutely ages. And I'll be using liberal use of the pause recording key. But in the meantime, let's hope this comes up with a found statement. There we go. Mm, gala chip. Mm, gala chip it is then. Pause. Ooh, look, we got a loading screen. That's exciting. For an Amstrad. Obs. And we're loaded. So that's good. Right, okay. Uh, bonjour, monsieur. This game is French. So, copyright chip. Uh, les aliens, blah, 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 under the table. I'm pressing fire. Oh, yeah. Stupid bloody things. Are you in Amstrad mode? Yes. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Galaxian then, isn't it? Um, that's a bit quiet. Let's turn that up a bit. There we go. Right. I'm ready. Even if you're not. Noms, le blah, 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 blah. Get on with it. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yes. Front fire button doesn't do much, does it? Oh. Well, it is quite nice. Slowly picking them off. Ooh. Space poo. Uh. Space poo. Oh, of course I can go that way as well. Uh. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you just no. You've got a keyboard. Let me use it. Right, one more go. Gala chips, all right. It's all right. Ooh, hey. Ooh. I'm not very good at it, obviously. The concentration. No. Oh, I'm still alive. Nope, dead. Well, that's enough of that one. I'm going to load something else. Let's go. Okay, so next up is Killipede. Look at it. Came up just like that. How long is this going to take load? Um, forever. Okay. Pausing the recording. Oh, we've got a loading screen. Oh, this is players? Players had stuff that looked like that, didn't they? Remember, kids, you get the content you deserve. That's players. Yay, it's players. I knew that. I win points. Now, comment below. I argue that the time it takes to load a loading screen, you could have loaded and game. Yeah? So why did they have... They should have done the, the version with the loading screen on one side and the faster load without a loading screen on the other side of the tape. And that would have made us all a lot happier when we were 10 years old. Killipede. Hmm. We're 23% in on the loader. <laughs> I'm going to hit pause. Right, here we are. Oh, that was good timing. Killipede. 
on the Amstrad CPC 464 using absolutely no fuse hardware whatsoever. So I was listening to myself in my ear because I'm trying to get the audio levels right and it drives me crazy. Um, Hall of Fame. I'm just enjoying these colours. Mm. Press the correct button. I'll just define the control keys of your dynamic debugging thing. Pressing the Dell and clear pauses, yes. Escape, bolts, bonus, lift. Boring. Oh, okay. There's... <gasps> oh, but no joystick. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, freaking arrow keys, I guess. All right, where's the arrow keys? That's something. What's fire? Space. All right. Okay, but that is not the best keys to use because they're all the way up there. Ooh. Ooh. What's <gasps> scary? You. Uh. Um. Now, ooh, ooh, wonderful. It's not the most dynamic. Um. Center, peed ever is it? I mean, the geezer runs around all right, but everything else is a bit slow. Game over. Disappointment in your face. Just, just, I've got a keyboard here. Let me use it. It's just jibber jabber, really, isn't it? Right, one more go. Because it did take um, 16 years to load this from cassette. Um, but yes, I am fleshing out some ideas for some new hardware um, for various bits of kit. But um, uh, uh, Futures 8 bit it doesn't have the Spondulix really to just go mad anymore because doing this sort of thing is expensive now. Um, shipping since Brexit is just laughable, really. But you know. So that's where the profits go. Shipping. Um, but, uh, yeah, well, I'm trying to work out a few bits and bobs. It's very hard to make certain products now, if not impossible. I'm paying, you know, five, ten times the price for some chips now. Um, and some chips I just can't get. So it's a good idea to keep an eye open. So that's one of the reasons why I'm using various machines just in case I can figure out a way of doing something that's cool um, that is useful. No point just making something because you've got to make something. You've got to make something because you think you can do a good job of it or do something better. So, yeah. That's one of the reasons why I'm using more avant-garde machines these days. Oh, what's that? Pink thing. Well, after all of that loading, I'm going to load another game. Because that's okay, but as centipedes go, um, must try harder, right? Right, I'm now trying to remember what key combination you press on an Amstrad to get it to, like, all break, reset. Wasn't it, like, shift and that? Control and that. Control shift and that. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Off camera. No, I never did figure it out. I ended up turning it off and on. Next up, we have Rooster Run on our five random CPC 464 games. Quite enjoyed the last game. It's quite good. Right, Rooster Run. Come on. Let's have a little thing saying loading at least. And then I can uh, hit pause. There we go. Rooster Run. Block one. Uh, yeah. Enjoy the moment. Hold the front door. The, the screen has turned green. 
what, what happens if you've got a green screen? Get your head around that. It's going to be white or something. No, it's not. It's just going to be green, a mid-green. That's what it's going to be. It doesn't take long to get your head around how green screens work. Anyway, I digress. 83%. Back soon. No, I tried a couple of times on that one. It didn't load, so we're not going to be able to see Roost and Run. Uh, so we had Killipede, Roost and Run, and now we're going to go for... Oh, Reckless Wadger. So that hopefully will load. Be nice. E squiddle up. That's how it works. Come on, just give me a loading thing, and then I can safely hit pause. There we go. Wadger is a loading. Wadger is definitely woading. We have Weckless Wadger. Right, um, instruction. Reckless Wadger's ship has been stolen, blah, 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 broken, five pieces, go get it. Alright, joystick. Yeah! Oh! He is reckless. That is quiet. Turn that right up. Am I just stuck on this level? Yeah. Not that reckless. Well. Chance. Stop it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can shoot those. I didn't think I could get them. Oh, you can also hold down the frickin' button. Which is even better. Yeah. Ooh. The balloon. Balloons are evil. Oh. Game over. Right, one more Weckless Wadger. And I think there's only one more random game after that. Uh, oh. Yeah, power... Don't keep pushing into the baddies, because... Oh, the controls! Where's the joystick? Probably the joystick. Uh, 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 uh. Can't shoot the balloon, or can I? I can. Ooh. Go down! Down! Mm. One more go. Wiggle the joystick connector. It's down is not working very well. Uh, no! I think half the trouble is you can't really fire and do all of the directions at the same time. It sort of splutters a little bit. Or maybe that's just my mind. But I like Reckless Wadger. He's doing all right. Um, some sort of jetpack from the future, if we ever get one. Ah, I don't like that. That's not fair. Ah, no. Anyway, interesting baddies. Don't you think? I think they are. Right, I'm going to try resetting again. There we go. Definitely didn't work in the previous game. Right, Reckless Wadger. Now, we've, I've definitely heard of this game, but I can't remember it. Um, Zynapse, this is. So hopefully, within some minutes, this will load. 
and I will do some pausing and unpausing and pausing again. You forget, don't you? Cassette stuff takes ages. Aha! Loading. Ah! All of it! Look at the colours! Ah! Right. We actually have audio. Seems the audio outputs are a bit weird on Amstrad's. Right. Zynaps. I think this is that 3D thing. Nope. Does the top fire button do anything? No, it does not. Are they collect? Oh. I'm rubbish at all games. Right. Walnut whips. That didn't do anything. Oh no, you can collect them. You just have to really collect them. Bloop bloop. Walnut whips. Oh. Well, this place perfectly lovely. I can't complain about the walnut whips. Ugh. Come on, then. Walnut whips. It's the walnut whip challenge. Oh, of adjusting things. Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, uh, ah. Prepare for combat. Is that good? No, probably not. I chickened out. All right, walnut whips first. I only got one of the blues. What is it? Bad collision or just extra hardness? Matron. There's the other blue fella. He's gone. Oh, he's left a poo. Oh, they may explode eventually, maybe. They are flashing. Very difficult to read the blue bit at the bottom of my eyes. Or anybody's eyes, probably. Oh, no! Ah! I've got a long way. Don't be back at the beginning. I am back at the beginning. I hate this game. I think you can safely say, though, that Zynaps on the um, Amstrad, without looking at any other version, because I'm not interested right now, I'm playing the Amstrad version, and I think if I was an Amstradist back in the day, I'd be pleased with this. I'd even go as far as saying this would probably look quite good on a green screen, because the colours are different enough to stand out. I do like a green screen. Amber's my thing, though. Mm, amber. Mm. I do have an amber screen somewhere, and I've also got a white screen that um, I wanted to use. I got in for something specific, please, and then never used it, along with everything else I've bought over the last X years. I'm assuming there's a bit of a slump on what people are getting for some hardware right now, because nothing seems quite normal or anymore with events as they are all right you can go right up right up in their face i don't think i'm going to get any further i did earlier though i suck but you knew that right okay well one more go just one more go we'll take my headphones off again because they annoy me Zynapse looks particularly nice on an Amstrad. Who'd have thought it? Mr. Chinny would be able to tell me about what exotic screen mode this is. Now, me looking at it as an outsider, is this like eight colour? Or is it being clever with four and black? 
and white or something. It's not many colours, but it's enough. I mean, that's definitely a kind of a peach colour as well. Yeah, it's got to be eight colour. Oh, bugger. Yeah, but I know the Amstrad's got a few trick modes in it. You can do split screen video modes and stuff like that. I'm not all that clued up on them, obviously. But, yeah. Interesting piece of kit. Bugger, I'm rubbish though. So, you saw how far I did get. Now, this is my very, very, very last go. And comment below the word sausages if you bothered to watch it this far. Feel uh, free feeling of smugness. If you've managed to do that. I'm just going to stay in the middle then, am I? No. We well, did space turds. Yeah, this is all right. This is more than all right. This is quite good. The only thing that's letting it down is the appalling quick shot poo that I have to use, because Amstrad, you know? I don't like micro switch joysticks. You seem to have to move them four feet to register. Ah, 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 and I got there again. <laughs> but yeah, um, I will, once I've finished um, messing around with some tape stuff that I'm currently working with, definitely going to have to get myself a 6128 rigged up and put one of those GoTech things in it. Ugh. I don't like the way any of those look. Nothing wrong with the device, obviously. But um, yeah, I like things to look original. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to go tech up because loading from uh, cassette on a system that was well known for, for disc is ridiculous, really, if you think about it. But yeah, I was unaware um, that um, Amstrad games were a little bit like the Ataris, where the loaders seemed to be horribly slow. But there we are. Anyway, I've, I'm glad I finished on Zynapse. It's a very spectacular game and look at all this look at this just that alone thank you mr hewson anyway like and subscribe visit the futures8bit.com um tell all your friends and your enemies bye